Hi, welcome to the new section, Adding Authentication to an API with Django. We will begin this section by understanding about the authentication, permissions and throttling. Then we will be adding security data to the models and create permission classes. Moving ahead, we will configure these permission policies and then compose requests. Finally, we will be browsing the API with authentication details. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with understanding authentication, permissions and throttling. In this video, we are going to use the credentials to apply the permission and throttling policies that will determine whether the request must be permitted or not. Our current version of the API processes all the incoming requests without requiring any kind of authentication. Django REST framework allows us to easily use different authentication schemes to identify the user that originated the request or the token that signed the request. A list of classes specifies the authentication schemes. The first class in the list that generates a successful authentication, in case we specify more than one class, will be responsible for setting the values for the two properties. First property is request.user. It is the user model instance. We will use an instance of the django.contrib.auth.user class, that is a Django user instance in our examples. Next is request.auth. It provides additional authentication information, such as an authentication token. After a successful authentication, we can use the request.user property in our class-based view methods that receive the request parameter to retrieve additional information about the user that generated the request. Django REST Framework provides three authentication classes in the REST framework.authentication module. The first one is Basic Authentication. It provides an HTTP basic authentication against username and password. If we use in production, we must make sure that the API is only available over HTTPS. Next is Session Authentication. This works with Django Session Framework for authentication. The third one is Token Authentication. This provides a simple token-based authentication. The request must include the token generated for a user in the authorization HTTP header with token as a prefix for the token. All these classes are subclasses of the Base Authentication class. First, we will use a combination of basic authentication and session authentication. We could also take advantage of the token authentication class later. Open the settings.py file located in the Games API folder and in the dictionary named REST Framework. We will add these lines with a key value pair that configures the global default authentication classes. The value for the default authentication classes settings key specifies a global setting with a tuple of string whose values indicate the classes that we want to use for authentication. Permissions allow us to control which classes of users will be granted or denied access to the different features or parts of our API. Throttling also determines whether the request must be authorized. Throttles control the rate of requests that users can make to our API. For example, we want to limit unauthenticated users to a maximum of 5 requests per hour. We want to restrict authenticated users to a maximum of 20 requests to the game's related views per day.